chose as our motto to save, save the soul, soul of America. America. And the soul is being threatened now because democracy is our soul. As the nation continues the conversation about voting rights, Dr. Bernice King is urging Americans to spend the King holiday not just to reflect on her father's legacy, but to use their voice. Small things eventually will lead to other things that become much more um, oppressive and discriminatory. This year, the King family is zeroing in on voter discrimination once again. There are efforts uh, to shut down. They have been shut down polls, especially in more rural settings. That's scaling back the access and the opportunity. The more barriers I got to overcome to vote, the likelihood is that I'm not going to participate. The denial of this sacred right is a tragic betrayal of the highest mandates of our democratic tradition. What makes us a democracy is the vote. Uh, for us to have, you know, a voice in how things happen uh, legislatively in our country. And, and so it is important now more than ever that, that we preserve um, and protect uh, that right. But what makes now the time for change? Over the last few years, there has been a, a generation of young people that have been holding our nation accountable. You know, I, I, I have relabeled it the accountability generation. <laughs> In times past, we would have these spurts and moments and, and people would kind of could resign back into their silos. But now people are having to stay on their tippy toes because this accountability generation says, no, we are insistent on creating you know, the just, humane, equitable, and peaceful world. I love that label, the accountability generation. And I, I think that is such an accurate one because even on social media, you can see people calling attention to issues that they care about. I know some people in my circles can be a little overwhelmed almost with how many issues there are, like you mentioned, poverty, yeah. police brutality, the crisis in the climate right now. What would you advise them to stay focused? One of the things that's important is strategizing. You know, I think we do a lot of um, mobilizing, but we're not organizing and we're not strategizing because there are so many issues. If you try to come at it by saying, we got to do this, 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 and this, you will get overwhelmed and you'll burn out. If you can't fly, run. If you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, crawl. But by all means, keep moving. If you try to take on everything, you're not going to get the victories you need. So you got to say, where can we get some some wins? And her call to action? We can't lay back and say, oh, that was then. No, this is now. This is now. Echoing voices from the past. Now we have the ballot in our hands and let us use it well. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.